Well, trotting Phillies on the gate for the Breeders' Crown. Frank Salib with the call. What a night for uh, track records and thrilling finishes and still three more big ones to go. Buckle up. It's the Breeders' Crown 1999 final three-year-old Philly trot. And they're off. Out well along the inside comes Ari Carl's Teresa. Dream Valley OM will be away alertly. Following through just off the speed, that's Oolong along the inside. And there goes Decapode from the far outside to join the top four. Dream on Candy is on the outside from fifth. Poster Princess, sixth along the inside. Rum Boogie is floated out, seventh on the outside. Ray is along the inside in eighth position as they sweep on up to the quarter. The last pair away were Midori Hanover and Auntie's Dream is tenth. The opening split was a rapid 20 and one. Burt Lindstead and Dream Valley OM on the lead, hanging out Decapote and Icarl's Teresa, ensuring that she closes up that pocket position. Oolong is along the inside in fourth. It's two more lengths to Dream On Candy racing along in fifth. Here comes Poster Princess, six to the outside. Rum Boogie in heavy traffic all the way. She's seventh. Ray is eighth. Second from last, Midori Anover. And Auntie's Dream is tenth. Dream Valley OM hangs out Decapote to the half. Icarl's Teresa is in the box. Poster Princess is the one that second over and Oolong track fifth along the inside to a half of 58 seconds 29 and 4. Second quarter Dream Valley OM is in the driver's seat here hanging out Decapode and clogging up traffic in behind her. I Carl's Teresa Campbell almost flat in the bike. Poster Princess spots second over on the inside fifth is Oolong there's Rum Boogie she's going to be rolling wide from six. Seventh along the inside for Dream on Candy. The trailing trio at head stretch for Midori Hanover. Auntie's Dream and Ray. They turn for home. It's Poster Princess sent wide to try to chase down this front striding. Dream Valley OM 127 and 3. The three quarters into the final eight. The 99 Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old Philly Trot final. Rum Boogie now gets extricated from all of the traffic. Look out for Oolong. She's got a tight squeeze at the inside, but Pierce is bringing her through. So it's down to Oolong and Rum Boogie and Oolong with Pierce will win the Breeders' Crown with an inside journey defeating the entry. Rum Boogie and Dream on Candy in 156. Pierce kept his backers wondering until the uh, final 100 yards there, but uh, he squeezes through on the pylons to win himself. I can tell you, Frank, that would not be by design. That horse had nowhere to go all the way down the back stretch around the last turn and miraculously did get through when the leader, Dream Valley OM, began to tire mid-stretch and Brent Lindstad couldn't keep her down on the rail. She drifts out the two-wide lane as tired horses are about to do. And that lets Ron Pierce and Oolong up the inside and the public play to right. She went off as the three to two favorite. She will prevail. Like the trotting daughter of Armbro Gold, just a $16,000 yearling buy. One win in 14 last year. She has now won 7 of 19 this year. Coming into this race, 400000 in the bank, and she adds another almost $300,000 to that total. Ron Pierce, a heads-up drive, and he's still got a lot of action to cover here tonight. He's been red hot as of late, and he gets the job done for the second straight week with... Ulan. When we return from these messages, we'll have all the information to cover from the winner's circle, Ron Pierce and Oolong, Breeders' Crown winners here in 1999. Dan Loisel standing by with the winners. Well, I'm with Ron Pierce, the winning driver behind Oolong, and uh, just his second drive. And Ronnie, what do you think of this filly? Uh, she's a machine. She just does it so easy. Uh, per Hendrickson, the trainer, he had her very sharp tonight. And uh, the trip worked out. I was a little concerned they're going around the last turn with us going to find room or not. I knew I had a lot of horse, but uh, uh, luckily for us, uh, the horse that was cutting a mile come off the wood just There's enough for us to get up in there. The Red Sea's opened and up come Oolong down the fence. Uh, she was just fine, wasn't she? she? She was just fine. What makes this filly so, uh, such a special filly, Ronnie? Well, she's bred to be a real good horse. Uh, her, her connections, you know, you, you got Per Hendrickson uh, training her. He's uh, one of the greatest trot and horse trainers in the country. Um, so, so that's all there is to it. You know, you, you you know, you put the bloodlines with the right trainer, and, and uh, if, if you're lucky, you get the uh, the horse. Were you confident going in? Yes, I did. She scored down real good. Per told me she was real good, but then, like I said, I just uh, wasn't sure if I could work out the right trip with her. Ronnie Pierce and his wife Louise. Ronnie, the driver of Oolong, uh, winner of the Breeders' Crown in 156, and the big horses in the barn, Ronnie, Blissful Hall. Good luck. Thank you very much. Kenny, back to you.
Okay, thanks a lot, Dan. Mike, show us what happened here in this three-year-old Philly Trot division. Oolong, as Dan mentioned, the Red Seas opened up for her as she shot up the inside late. It looked like a congested stretch drive for these Phillies. They had a lot of battling down the back stretch. Come off the turn, watch down on the inside. Campbell can't get through them, but watch this horse down here. That is Ron Pierce and Oolong will come up the inside as Burton Linstead's Philly on the lead. Dream Valley OM begins to tire and drift out into the middle of the racetrack. That was all that Pierce needed. He found that opening, comes on to get it down along the inside. Horse closing up on the outside, Ron Boogie could not find the wire in time. The Breeders' Crown Trophy presentation by Tiffany and Company. The presenters out there, George Siegel, the owner of Brittany Farms and a director of the Hambletonian Society. Co-presenter along with George is Bob Anderson, a director here at the Ontario Jockey Club. So a career year continues as Ron Pierce, a man who was in the right place at the right time last week aboard trotting Philly Oolong. She set a track record winning her elimination last week under wraps. She got a lot of... Uh, Hail from the public this evening once again. We'll quickly look at the value on the board right now. Oolong did get a lot of respect, and on the board she pays $5 to win. The entry did extremely well. Rum Boogie, the divisional champ from last year, she shook loose late to grab second. Her stablemate, Dream on Candy, was a rallying third. So it's Oolong, Ron Pierce, get the job done here. Pierce's fifth Breeders' Crown Trophy. That's the second Breeders' Crown Trophy for the trainer, Per Henriksen. And this filly, when you talk about Breeders' Crown Night, you have to look at the Breeders' as well, Mike. This filly was bred in part by Castleton Farms of Lexington, Kentucky, and Mr. George Steinbrenner is just savoring his World Series title with the New York Yankees back-to-back. -back. What a week for Steinbrenner. He'll be picking up a Brenner's bonus on this one as Oolong wins the three-year-old trotting Philly division. Hambletonian Oaks winner earlier in the year, and she caps a fantastic season here at 408,000 coming in. Adds another 270 tonight. Here's a look at trainer Henriksen, a 53-year-old native of Norway, and here he scores his second Breeders' Crown win.